Okay, so welcome to episode one and session one of What a Load of Carp. This evening we are on Edenvale Lake in Westby, Wiltshire. It's right next to the train station. Conveniently, I've got myself in a nice little peg right on the roadside, so it's easy for loading and unloading. Um, I won't yabber on too much, just to give you a brief summary of what it is now. Um, it's about half past eight at night, quarter to nine maybe. Um, my rods have been out for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes maximum. We've had one beep already. Um, and then on the left hand side, underneath the tree, which I will show you tomorrow, I've got a single sail out um, on a 360 rig. Um, and then probably about 30 yards off that, straight up the middle, I've got just a, uh, a pop-up on, yellow pop-up, pineapple with a bit of red corn on the top. Um, that normally produces for me on this lake, so I'm hoping that we're going to get some action this evening, so I will keep the posters and I'll go for it. Okay, so we are about 9 o'clock, um, not very far after when we've done the first bit of recording. And we've got ourselves a little common. Um, I say little, he is for a carp. I suppose he's about five pounds maybe. So we're just going to unhook the fella. It's right in the money in the corner. It's right in there. Let's get rid of that. Was on the cell, so that's a, a good result all around. So let's have a quick look at him. It's not a very good picture, really, but as you can see, it's about five pounds. He's a nice little fish. Someone else's alarm is tearing off over there as well. Okay, so we've just had that common. Um, I've not weighed it yet, it's in my uh, landing net at the moment it's uh, just getting its breath um, I will go down and let it go in just a moment uh, don't worry it's secure it's not going to go anywhere the handles nice nicely tied down on the landing net pole so he isn't going to go anywhere um, yeah so I had it on the cell left hand side under the tree uh, like I said normally produces for me um, well I didn't say the cell did I said the other bait did but the cell's done well for me tonight F uh, first run first fish can't complain really um, what I will do, I will, uh, before I let it go, go down and weigh it and get the exact weight, just so we can be 100% sure of how big it is. But I, again, reckon it's about five, maybe six pounds, but I could be completely wrong. Okay, so fish number one has been weighed. It's been confirmed it was just a tad over six pounds. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that, nice start. And uh, I did notice when I come back to my bivvy that I did get the times completely wrong. Um, if I remember correctly, I said it was about nine o'clock. Actually, it was about quarter to nine, so 15 minutes of action, first fish, can't complain. Like I said, runs water, always good for a bite. Okay, so morning, it's uh, about 25 past four in the morning, and um, yeah, it's been quiet, nothing at all. Not even a single bleep since I last spoke to you. Um, I'm pretty knackered, as you can probably tell. But this is the sort of time I like to get up and stay up until about 8 o'clock. I like to call it like the peak time on this lake. It's normally when you get the most uh, sort of bites and runs. So I'm confident that within the next four hours we just have sunk out. Anyway, I'll come back to you once we do. Okay, mate, so that's the first one from last night. So he's only about, I said, six pounds, so he's alright. It's alright. Right. Yeah, nice job. This is uh, day two, um, mid-afternoon. Not had any more fish since last night, which was the first one I've shown you. This morning, um, it's very quiet at the moment. There seems to be quite a lot of pressure on the water though at the moment. A few people bivvied up, um, so there are a lot of lines in the water. Um, I will just show you where I am, if I can. Um, so I've got one, off the point there, which I've just chucked about 20 spots in, uh, uh, literally about five foot off the corner. So there's 20 mixes of spot just gone in there. Uh, so I'm hoping that later on that's going to produce for me. And then there is another one, which is very close, just literally under this tree here. 
So you've got the corner, it goes out about 15 foot, okay, right about there. And that's the one what I had last night, the point I had one from last night. So yeah, lovely day for it. Let's just hope we catch some more. Okay, so it's, um, oh, I don't know, say 10, I think it's 10 past seven in the evening and uh, second night and we finally, finally got our second fish. Um, again, under the tree to my left hand side, on the cell. Um, not 100% sure what it is yet because I've not lifted it up out the net. Um, but it does feel a little bit bigger when I was playing it than the one we had yesterday. So let's have a look see what we've got. Sure if you... How good that picture is. There he is, look. Nice long mirror. So uh, we're we'll weighing him up now just to see how he compares. if that's gonna help to give you an idea pretty bad picture really to be fair yeah nice mirror so I'll try and get a proper photo in the camera and then I'll post it we can have a look okay so uh, yeah just weighed him it's uh, definitely a mirror cut and he was just a tad shy of 12 pounds so I'm happy with that for the second fish so uh, early doors, so we'll just keep plodding along for the second night to see if we have any else out. Okay, so it's, um, let's have a look. It's bang on one o'clock in the morning. Um, again, the tree has produced for me with my third fish, and again, on the cell, one of the 360 rigs, so lovely jubbly. That's the third fish for the two night session. I have been led here tonight, to be fair, debating whether to pack it in and go home. Um, but I'm glad I've got that one now because it gives me a bit of inspiration to stay for the last few hours until first light. Um, it's another mirror, not weighed it, it's too dark, I can't be bothered to get out there and do it all yet, so I'll just uh, sack it up and uh, I'll get the weighing done in the morning um, and then obviously I'll let you know what the size is and I'll get a picture of it as well. So yeah, um, you'll see me again if we catch another. Give you a bit of an update, uh, just briefly after catching that last fish. Um, what I'm actually going to do is have a bit of a change of tactics uh, as such. Um, as you're aware, I've got one out on sale. I've got one out on a Pineapple Pro Plus Active Boily. Um, and I've also got one on the same, but tipped with a red bit of corn, which has been soaked in pineapple aid as well. So normally that produces for me on this lake. I don't know why it hasn't uh, this, this weekend, to be fair. Not not really sure it always used to produce for me all the time without fail it used to be you know on the money I always bet on that to be the one would produce for me but it's not to be so what I'm actually gonna do uh, like I said it's, it's about quarter past one now so until first light I'm just gonna go for it I'm gonna put a cell on all three rods and let them have it basically um, and hopefully get another fish so uh, uh, yeah we'll see what happens Okay, it's morning, it's uh, two minutes past three. Uh, I've just had another fish, which is good. Um, you've guessed it already, same spot, same bait, same rig. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic for me on this session. The 360 rig with the cell, can't beat it to be fair. It's, it's done me proud over these last couple of nights. Yeah, I'm getting to like that combination there and getting. Um, so basically, uh, it's a common. Uh, the scales are telling me it's just over eight pounds. Although I think it looks a bit bigger than that, but obviously scales don't lie. Um, a little heads up as well from earlier. The mirror which we had as well was um, just a knock under eight pounds. So we haven't done too bad because we've had a six, we had a twelve, we know we've had two eights. So. I'm pretty happy with that. It's just a shame that last night was not so productive as it was tonight. Um, still probably got about another three or four hours left of darkness until the morning comes. Um, got all rods back out again, so I'm hoping we're going to get at least one more, but we will see.
Okay, so here is one of the commons. Not sure how good picture that is, but that's one of them. That's the one that's about eight pound. Okay, and this is one of the. This is the smallest mirror. This is the 12 pound mirror. Lovely juggly. Nice looking fish. We'll get a picture of this one. Didn't take a picture of the other two. Surely, so they're not really worth taking a picture of. Yeah, we'll get a quick picture of this one.